Hey everyone, it's Les from Comfortable Shoes Studio here. Uh, welcome to the mess of my studio. My iPhone has decided that it no longer wants to record um, videos for me, so that's very annoying. Um, but um, what I am shooting today is a series of videos I've been working on about how do you art journal on a budget? How do you get into art journaling on a pretty tight budget? So I've got some options here. So the first thing I want to talk about are the journals. This, so the, the, the target near me has a whole assortment of journals and they almost always have a selection of journal um, on the clearance rack. So, you know, the, this is a clearance rack journal. It was $5 that might be cheating I think it's smart purchasing. So um, yeah, they almost always have some sort of sketchbook or journal on that clearance rack. Then they have journals um, and sketchbooks between seven and 15 to $20 in the regular section. You could also get away with a $3 composition notebook there. Um, so they have that. Um, I, because I hit the clearance rack at Target way too often, um, have this. This is a Mondo Llama sketchbook. They're currently retailing for seven to ten dollars ish. Um, if you keep an eye on the on the sales racks, you might find these on the clearance section as well. So these are this would be my choice if you can get this um, for five dollars. Definitely pick up one. Uh, the downside to these is that the pages on the inside are perforated. It is also a thick one it is it is a chunky chunky journal um so yeah you gotta you can get a chunky journal like this um and it works great so this would be my journal of choice this is the one i'm going to use for this challenge uh, as i show you examples because this is the one i own um however when it comes to um the current current things that are on offer within the budget. This is their uh, five dollar sketchbook, and you know I buy these for work, so this is actually one that I bought for work, um, and yeah, so that's a five dollar sketchbook. Um, and I also mentioned in a previous video uh, glue sticks. I am not adding any additional glue sticks to my situation with glue sticks. I I'm not even gonna look. I've got two glue sticks right there. I got another thing of glue right there. Um, here's another glue stick. And all that is just with it. Oh, and look, here's a, here's a glue runner. Um, all of that is to say that I have too many glue sticks here in my home and in my studio. I'm not buying anymore. So the glue sticks were $3 there. Um, you get a two pack of Elmer's for $3. So add that into the budget. Uh, so I wanted to give some options. And one of the reasons that the budget for Target is a little wonky, I intended to have it be $20 again. But as I learned when I walked into Target, if you have a budget, it's, you're automatically going to spend more. Um, so to keep things within the budget, $25. But the reason for that is that um, Target sells a lot of things and large -er sets. So this is the you buy gel pen set. It's 30 gel pens, 30 pens in a nice plastic clamshell case for storage. You have pastels, metallics, regular colors, neon colors, and then glitter uh, pens. So um, again, this is one that I bought for work. Um, so the kids use this. Uh, they're pretty comfortable, but this is a $14 pen set. So you spend $14 plus $5, that's already at the $20 mark, add in the glue stick, and you get $23. So yeah, a set like this is really nice, but if you're only spending $25, 20 to $25, that's not in the budget. Um, another potential item is this. Now, I struggle to even show this on camera because I am not a, these are okay, but I'm not a big fan um, when it comes to these. This is the Crayola Signature Series 
um, dual tip marker pen set. Uh, the reason I struggle to, to sh even show this on camera is because of how they have it set up. And I don't know who at Crayola decided this was a good idea, but it was a bad idea. It was dumb. So you have two tips, right? You've got a brush tip on one end, which is actually not a bad brush tip. Check that out. It's not too bad. Um, and then on the other end, you've got a fine point. Now, what do you notice about that pen? You've got a green, blue, teal here, and then a turquoise on that end. The colors don't match on the tips. That is infuriating. Because um, it's like, look at, look at this one. It's a nice pale blue I might use in the shadows of a portrait. And this is like a super intense blue. Um, anyway, I know a lot of people get these as gifts and they're a nice gift in that it's a really nice storage tin. They're, it's a well thought out thing, except for the fact that colors are wrong. Uh, this is $17. So $17 plus, plus a sketchbook and then a glue stick is going to hit that $24, $25 mark. Um, your mileage may vary. You might love those. What I actually ended up purchasing for this, you saw these rolling around, was the Bic Crystal Extra Bold um, pen package. Now, there are eight colors here, 15 pens, um, so you get some overlap, but then there's always one pen that only has one. And why is it the teal? Because this is the one I'm probably going to use the most. Um, so you get your standard red, blue, black, uh, and then you get five additional colors that are a little funky, a little fun to play with. So that was $3. So three plus the, the glue stick, we're at 11 bucks right now. And then the Bic Intensity Dual Tip Felt Pen Marker Set. Now they have the 12 color set. I think this actually comes in a larger package, a larger number of pens if you're looking for it. Um, but at Target, they just had this one. So um, the thing that I like about this is you've got a brush tip and a fine tip and the colors match. They're exactly the same color on either end. So this has a nice brush tip and then a nice fine point that is the same color. So that, you know, whether you are intending to do, you know, art journaling where you're sketching and drawing, maybe you're going to go out and do some urban, urban sketching, uh, or if you're doing bullet journal planning, these would be a nice choice. So these were for $13, 1350. So $13.50 plus $3, so we're about $16.50, uh, and then $3 for those, so that's $19.50 plus a $5 sketchbook. We're at about $25, $24, dollars right? Um, and you can do some really great things with these, and as you start to add more things into your art journaling kit, the Bic Crystals are going to be a go-to for drawing over acrylic paint and either crusty, crusty things, uh, things that you've got, you know, a lot of texture on, these are going to write over them. Um, these allow you to add some color and play around with stuff. So uh, I think that this is going to be a super fun challenge for working in this sketchbook. Um, so that's 25 bucks at Target. Plus, I, they are giving out uh, free reusable shopping bags that are gray and red. Um, so anyway, so you get a, a, a reusable shopping bag plus the stuff um, that you actually pay for. I'm sure you're actually paying for the shopping bags as well somehow. But my point is, here's a journaling setup. We're going to play with it in the next couple of uh, episodes and uh, see how I like it. I might not like it. I think I'm going to like it. I, I know I'm going to like these. I know I like these. I know I like this sketchbook. So that's the challenge. And uh, I'll show you some examples on how to use it in upcoming episodes. I just want to say thank you for being here. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button or the likes and, and the comments. Uh, I appreciate it all. If you appreciate what I'm doing, if you have found this helpful at all, head over to my coffee page or my Kofi page and uh, buy me a cup of coffee. The whole reason I'm able to do this series of videos is through the support 
on Kofi. Uh, people have gone over there. Uh, they have hit that buy me a coffee and uh, they bought me coffees, which allows me to buy more art materials and make videos like this. So, um, yeah, if you if you enjoy this, head on over to Kofi, hit the like, subscribe and all that stuff. Buy me a cup of coffee. And uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you again and I will see you next time. Bye.